Hello folks, made it to 65. That was a climb. I thought I got lost. Really did. Because there for a little while there wasn't no markings at all. Then hanging from a tree there was a little marking. So I'm going, well, I know that marking says, well, or it means temple this way. <laughs> so I followed it and sooner or later uh, more markings started coming up and I started feeling a little bit better because there's two different ways you get up here and one's a real uh, a, a long a long way around and that's not what I want to do I did that already on one of the temples I said I'm not going to do that again so but anyway um, let me show you around uh, started out with this this is way high <laughs> And uh, so we're going to, oh, go ahead, go ahead. We'll see you later. <laughs> All right. He's uh, uh, from France. I asked him his name, he probably, I don't know. But anyway, he's a nice guy though. We were just talking about the next one's brutal, 66. 12 miles from here probably won't get to it today because it's in the mountains you got to go up and down the mountains and um and it's not uh you're not going to get to it today so but there's a few huts around and um that's the lady that stamps her book dual dual stuff <laughs> dual uh job title so but it, it's a nice place up here kind of spread out a little bit and uh, it's a climb there's no doubt about that there's about six or seven that wasn't too bad and there was a few more that weren't too bad because they were in town there's a hut you could stay in, I think, like overnight if you want to, but I'm not going to stay in a hut tonight. I mean, not here anyway. But, uh, it's kind of spread out. It's a nice, it's a nice one. Like I was saying, 66, Temple 66 is, it's up on top, like 924 meters, I think, or kilometers. No, not kilometers. It has to be meters because kilometers, we take all year to get there. <laughs> So, but anyway, this is a pretty big area. It's nice. I didn't think, uh, I didn't see too many people here when I first got here. I saw this couple from uh, England that I've been um, chit-chatting with. We've seen each other periodically on a trail. But, uh, I'll tell you, the people, and they know you're doing this pilgrimage, you know, and, and but they've been so nice. I've gotten so much food from them, a um, little bit of money, about 500 yen. It doesn't amount to be uh, uh, much, but you, you don't expect it, you know. But the food, it was like I stayed at that hut last night and um, I was sitting there and a guy came over, a car pulled up into the parking lot next to the hut and there's some lady, look at how mean this guy looks. <laughs> um, lady was sitting in a car and a guy pulled up, sitting next to her for a little while, you know, and I'm reading uh, uh, the guidebook. See, uh, 
you know, I always try scoping everything out, you know, so, but, uh, and, uh, can't show up there now, maybe so. I don't know. It's pretty nice. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but I'm going to. And, um, anyway, about the, uh, about the money, or not the money, but, so anyway, I'm sitting there, and, uh, guy comes over with, oh, he had, uh, few pieces of candy and some of these puff things. Little round disc looking puff things. And he said, uh, you know, you know, for me, for the journey and everything. And I thanked him and everything else like that. And that was real nice. And the lady in the car was, you know, saying, you know, good luck, be safe. And, um, um, I'm losing my train of thought. Can't walk, talk, and chew bubble gum at the same time. Uh, but anyway, you know, I, and I said in Japanese, thank you, you know. And, uh, oh, they left probably about 10 minutes later. The guy comes back again. Well, here he has a sack, a bag. He's got some type of juice in there he's got a banana in there he's got a tomato for me in there and and um one other thing i can't remember what it was but uh <laughs> you know Anyway, it was really nice. No matter if you're doing something like what I'm doing or or whatever, you know. And uh and judging people. You know, sometimes I have a bad habit of doing that. And today I said you know, Kanisha walked up, this guy that I passed, and and he just kind of passed by and and said, Kanisha, you know, like, yeah, big deal. I go, okay, you know, excuse me. <laughs> Here, uh, walking down probably about a block or two, this little scooter pulls up next to me and hands me a bag with some some stuff in it and uh, food in it and here it was that guy that uh, I passed or I said you know that I said hello to and um, for whatever reason he got on a scooter and gave me that bag of food so you know you never know what somebody's going through when when they give you a cold shoulder or don't say something, you know. And, uh, but anyway, that's another story. Anyway, that's it. And uh, we're on to 66. We'll see you there. Bye.